Hey everyone, this is Jeff Plate of Alta Rain. You are watching CMS TV. Hail and kill caller, you're on the air. Hey, hail and kill guys, how are we doing tonight? We're well. Good. Hey, I'm Mark from Oregon. Um, I wanted to get you both of your opinions. I don't know if Neely, you might not know, but Chris, are you familiar with Sink and Stanley? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, did you see his video he had a couple of weeks ago where he cornered Doc McGee and got him to admit that Paul Stanley was lip syncing? I saw the clips or I saw like um, text clips of it. I did not see his actual video of it. No. Okay. Well, you know, they were on the Howard Stern show on Wednesday. And sure enough, if you watch the first song with Detroit Rock, they did three songs. They did Detroit Rock City, Shout It Out Loud, and uh, Rock and Roll Night. But the first song, he lip synced on Howard's show. You can <laughs> you see it. And yeah, I don't doubt that. with this guy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's been doing it now for, I guess, a little bit more than 10 years, but he refuses to admit it. And yet he goes like on the Kiss Cruise and he even says it in his in their pre um, concert meet and greets where they say, oh, yeah, we're going to lip sync and we're going to do all like, you know, making fun of it like they're not doing it. But he really is doing it. Sure. Like, what is his deal? He, he won't admit to it. Now they're down to 50 shows left. And it's just a travesty. And, and it seems like. Now, I know not everybody's doing it, but if this is the new norm, I mean, whatever rock bands that are left that would, that for, from our, uh, you know, from the eighties and nineties, I mean, are we in trouble here? I mean, is it just going to be the norm from here on out? Well, are you going to do it and not tell people, you know what I mean? See what I, what I, and again, I don't know, I'm guessing here, but, um, I would think for the old bands, it's going to be the norm until they retire. I think that the, the younger bands, it's really going to come down to if the, if the younger audience accepts it, if the younger audience accepts, you know, bands not doing, not performing because they're the ones that have not been, they're the ones that have not been groomed on the live performance. So I, I would think if they accept it, then it is going to become the norm. If, if they turn their back to it and say, yeah, I'm not going to pay this money. I'll go see a cover band, play your music and actually play it, which, you know, that is happening at some point, you know, it, who knows? I just think that if you go see a band and, it, and it's truly live, if they're going to use any of those enhancements, can't they just say that on a ticket? Can't <laughs> they just announce it somewhere like on the the posters, the tickets, you know, something small where they can just cover their own ass because. Well, you don't think, you don't think that. kiss is going to, you really don't think kiss is going to do something that's going to jeopardize them selling any, any merch or any tickets. Do you? Oh, uh, hell no. But I mean, just a couple of years ago, Gene comes out and says, don't use backing tracks. Don't do it. Blah, blah, blah. And he's talking about the stones and you too. And yet the, I, I think he even does it on certain songs now, but no. I mean, it's, it's ludicrous. It's like whatever the, whatever brings in the money, they could care less. Well, that's true. And I um, and what the, the, the thing is, is the people who should care the most are the people who are paying the ticket. And if, if it's a common knowledge thing, which we all know it, because I went to see Wasp back in the first part of January, it was very clear that Blackie was lip syncing for quite a few of the songs. Right. Yeah. And I'm, and I belong to the sync army on Facebook. And one of the guys from our group called Blackie out and you, and Chris, you might've saw it where he asked him point blank, are you using backing tracks? And he, and he yeah. admitted it, it mm -hmm. but at least he admitted it. And now how are people supposed to know that? I mean, I mean, you know, I, I guess like you said, Neely, like if you went to see Wasp, you know, he's doing something, but like these young kids that go, how are you supposed to know that they're actually doing something unless they admit it? Right. So how, how would you know otherwise? Well, the the theory is the theory that they have is you're paying for a performance or for a um, you're paying for the entertainment and whether it's done real or in in sync or however, you're still getting your performance. It's like a circus. 
Yeah. yeah. And the thing yeah. is, 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 is these bands, these older bands are, you know, at a quote unquote legendary or nostalgic uh, level. And uh, I don't think people care. They, they go, well, you know, I always heard a kiss growing up or my parents talked about them or whatever the case may be. And they're coming to the town. Uh, I'm going to go see kiss and relive, uh, live a nostalgic moment before they're gone. And they don't really care. Yeah. 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 Well, what's, uh, what's Don's feelings about that? Because obviously he's getting older and, and I haven't seen Doc in quite a while, but I know his voice isn't really holding yeah, up all his, his voice isn't the greatest, you know, but he's, he's not going to, uh, give in to doing the, the lip syncing thing. I mean, he'll, he'll sing he, some, you know, some shows he does real gr- good other shows, not so much, but you right. know, he still enjoys performing. People still come out to see him. And yep. he's going to continue doing it. And when people stop coming to see him, I'm sure that's when he'll stop playing. But, uh, I was with them uh, a couple weeks ago in, in, uh, Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania and, and the venue, I think it held about a thousand. It was sold out. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to, to get a good show this day and age. So, but anyway, thanks for your advice. Uh, thanks for the input on that guys. And, and by the way, Neely, it's Wilkes bar, not Wilkesbury. <laughs> well, everybody says it different. Yeah. Wilkesbury, Wilkes Bar, Wilkes. Uh, <laughs> have a good night, guys. Fuck right. there. <laughs> there you go. All right, you want to see this Kiss performance? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right, here we go. This is excellent. Let's do it. All Detroit right. Detroit Rock City. One, two, seem to i mean his voice is definitely stronger than it you know whenever they show his voice you know saying woo and yeah and stuff he sounds all out of tune to this so i don't doubt that he's singing a try i don't think it's as obvious as as that guy said to you no i i, I actually thought he was singing it for real hey he might be let's watch a little he more does. he sounds gravelly so it, it, it huh. sounds like he's he's actually singing at least this song i i didn't see yeah. the other songs so mm-hmm. let's see can't wait. Just can't wait. In the club, you're not in the world. First I drink, then I smoke. Got the cow, trying to make the midnight show. Let's go. Get up, get the vibes on the feet. Get down, get the vibes on the feet. Everybody in the in the YouTube chat is saying it's low energy and that they're not really into it. Well, they're in a room with nobody in it. <laughs> it's just funny that they're they're mugging for the camera and stuff like yeah. they got an audience. So you yeah. know they're, they're good actors. They sure know how to still you know do all the little the little yeah. uh, stage moves and stuff to. Sure. Uh, but know. they're playing to nobody, literally nobody, because even Stern's not there. If I'm not mistaken, Stern's in his studio in Florida. Or at his house or somewhere. He's not there. He doesn't come to Sirius XM anymore. Nope. You know, he's cameraing in himself. So I think, I think the only time that he's been to Sirius XM is when he did that Bruce Springsteen interview a couple of months ago or something. Oh, the groundbreaking one that yeah. HBO had to cover? Shut up. <laughs> what a tool. 
Anyway, you want to watch more of this, or yeah. I think we get the picture. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there you go. Um, kiss on Howard Stern, and you know we can announce that real or talk about that real quick before we before we switch up for a minute. Um, okay. You know, you did hear that they announced the final two shows. Well, you did. You did mention that uh, you know that they're on their farewell. You know, today mm-hmm. I, I didn't hear the announcement or anything, so I have no idea what's what's December first and second at Madison Square Garden are the final two shows of Kiss the, allegedly this, this year. This year, yeah. Okay. Well, so some people are super excited about this thing. <laughs> the end of the road tour. Yeah. I know Mark Striggle was all over it. He was yeah. like, "Oh, I'm going to be there." You know, I'm like, hey. <laughs> and then after January to go the beginning, the new beginning tour. <laughs> well, it'll be new Kiss tour. <laughs> it'll be. It. You know what? I, I'm. I'm almost. I'm almost certain. I and I have nothing to back this up. It's not like I've heard this or anything, but I'm certain they're going to call it Kiss Legacy. Yeah, because that sounds about right. Yeah, sure. It'll be Kiss Legacy with. I'm thinking, and and maybe I'm wrong on this. I'm thinking that Thayer and or Singer stay, and the other two guys go, and they bring in two new guys, a new Gene and a new Paul, but they let the other guys keep doing it to give it the quote unquote older flavor. Uh, who knows? That's that's again. I could be dead wrong on this, but I think that would work. I, I, no matter what they do, people are going to go out to it. Yeah, of course. You know, people are definitely going to go just to see it, if nothing else. And, you know, these kiss fools, they, they support kiss more than anything. Yeah. So, but I, I would think that it would have a whole lot more sellable value. If you had two guys that were in kiss for over 20 years, right. As part of it with the new, with the new kiss legacy tour. <laughs> 2024 and you know the thing is is with the whole kiss cruise thing they've been doing this Mm -hmm. for so long i don't think they're just gonna let that go away no dude they're still selling out big places why would they right so you know i i i would just say well you know they may not be playing the arenas anymore but if you want to see the real kiss yeah as endorsed by gene and paul well or, or or they'll actually perform on the kiss cruise yeah, Kiss Cruise. I think they're gonna they're gonna do residencies with new guys. <clears throat> I don't know that they'll tour because that could be embarrassing. No, I I don't mean they'll tour, but what I'm saying is yeah. like Gene and Paul will oh, play no. exclusively on the Kiss Cruises. I don't think so. You don't think so? Nah, Paul Paul needs to go away. Well, I regardless if he's good or not, my yeah. point is if the, I, I'm sure they're gonna re-engineer a way of still doing something. I, I think they're going to be involved. I mean, Gene has talked about this kiss with new players for yeah, well, a I, decade I that for a while, but I'm talking about their personal involvement. I think it'll be more production wise. Okay. They'll do the press conferences and they'll do that kind of stuff. I just don't see them singing it anymore. I really don't. Mm. All right. So real quick, and then we'll, we'll wrap this up. Cause I know you told um your guest yeah, at 10 right. o'clock. It's already 10 30. He's a young but, man. He, he can, yeah. He could hang, but, um, so the final one or two shows, do we see ACE, Peter, Vinny, Vincent, do we see Bruce Kulik? Do all those guys get up on stage? Who knows? We were, we were trying to guess it on, on to me this week. And, um, I said, and, and this is my, again, my, with no knowledge theory, um, I think that the only way it happens is for like the one song at the end. Okay. I don't think they do the bringing out Vinnie Vincent for lick it up or bringing out, um, uh, you know, um, Bruce for tears are falling or something. You know, I don't think yeah, it'll exactly. be that. I think it'll be kind of like they did on the unplugged. It'll just be a kind of an all-star jam to end their career with rock and roll all night party every day yeah that's a guess that's my guess i could see ace holding out unless unless he gets paid somehow yeah maybe i I could see the whole what's in it for me or you know and if i don't get blah 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 here's my demand i'm not coming i think see that and and they have they're they're gonna announce more stuff going up i'm sure 
What do you want to bet this becomes a pay-per-view thing? I'm sure. I'm sure they'll work it out to be something yeah. spectacular and you know garner more money. Right. And if they do that, then there's then there's money to give to Ace, to Peter, to Vinny Vincent. You know, there's there's money to there's money to be made if they do it in a the final shows of all time and kiss. Right, of course. You know. Now now available on whatever and bleacher bleacher report or whatever whoever does live stuff these days exactly so anyway kiss kiss calling it a day couldn't happen soon enough for me well supposedly yeah allegedly <laughs> <laughs> i i don't trust anything well i sure don't trust those guys to being honest that's for damn sure i really don't trust them so we'll see all right all right, well, we'll wrap up this segment. I'm going to play this tune just for you. I'm going to okay. dedicate this song to my partner, Chris Aiken, who's in uh, physical straits at this point. Yeah. But uh, we're going to do, I'm going to do a segment here after uh, segment two, se okay. se segment two of the show with a guest host, and then Chris will be back yeah. and we'll do the paid portion of the show, and uh, then we'll see where it goes from there. But uh, anyway, this one's for you. All right. This is uh, Tesla from the Great Radio Controversy, and this is Hang Tough. <laughs> here we go. So it's Tesla exclusively here. On your classic metal show. Hang Tough. 